hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back again with another video and today <laughs> i'm going to be bringing you um a vlog from surgery and if it's your first time here please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think so um i rotated in surgery uh in the month of january it was my first time rotating in surgery and i really wanted documented but since i didn't have like a normal phone i used to do my vlogs the phone i was using at the time the camera wasn't like as good so please forgive me for the bad audio and the bad camera quality but then i still wanted to bring you guys something so this is what i was able to um bring you guys but mostly like my core day is in surgery it's actually a core day so i would go in the morning and um i'll go in the morning to the hospital do whatever i'm supposed to do and then in the night in the beginning i tried to be leaving at night but then it didn't work because the doctor wanted us to be there for post around at six the next morning six a.m sharp you have to go to the hospital so i discovered soon that running from home and coming to the hospital wasn't working out so i decided to be sleeping at the hospital yeah so you guys will get to see in the vlog what happened and yeah i hope you did enjoy this and stick to the end Mama, 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 My video is very bad but this is time check this is like um it's <laughs> it's past 7 p.m it's past to be 7 30 something 7 p.m 30 something and i there was actually I left the emergency downstairs like acute peritonitis <laughs> but i needed a break so <laughs> i just ran away for a bit i came to the core room to just take a have a snack and we were having day has been kind of longish yeah it was quite it was rela not relaxed in the morning but it was just it was quite a difficult morning like just trying to understand each other with the doctors were they because most of them have not really worked with them so the one who was super used to being around and shadowing actually um finished her internship so She's moving on to our next stage so because of that we're shadowing other doctors today and we're still trying to like you know 
how to work with them and to be helpful and also learn at the same time. So yeah, we just had a tutorial. We we're being given a tutorial on hernias, like we're discussing hernias. And yeah, then the doctors we are giving us the tutorial were called for the emergency. I think my other fellow students went also to go see the emergency. I went and like peeped and then I was like, like I need a break. Like I needed a break for a long time ago. But I just yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm just taking a break. I was having a snack, leaving my bag in the call room. That's another thing. I came to leave my bag in the call room. As students, like yeah, finding sometimes a place to sleep isn't that easy, so um, I came to my bag in advance in the call room just so that when I'm ready to come and take a nap because I need to study today. So I wanted a call room, which is like, you know, so yeah, that's another thing I came to do was leave my bag in the call room. So now I'm just going to head back downstairs because we're going to be supposed to start clicking patients for tomorrow's round. So surgery, I'm doing like I've already vlogged surgery before. I haven't vlogged surgery. Surgery has been, yeah, this is my fourth week in surgery and it's been the most, can I say, hectic of all the ones I've done in terms of like you have to be top notch, you have to click patients, present them every major round, every postcode round and all that stuff. You have to be very active, they expect you to be very active. Where these other places where if you're not active, no one is going to like tell you anything, they'll just look at you. But here I've had doctors tell me like, oh, like uh, the first time, the first week I didn't really present any patient. The doctor was like, you've been quiet the entire time, your friends are presenting like two patients and you're quiet. So next time present three patients. So that's how it's been in surgery. So because of that, I, <laughs> I've i tried my best. I think it's the department where I've been the most active. So we're going to collect patients for uh, post call round. And as I said, since it's active, our consultant is here by 6 in the morning. I think he's a consultant. Yes. <laughs> he's here by 6 in the morning. And that's the time post call round starts. Every post call round, 6 a.m. sharp, he's here. So I'm going to collect patients to present tomorrow. And yeah. Let's, guys, let's continue this, this call day. Today I'm in my lab coat. Let me show you my outfit here. Yeah. I mean, I'm hiding the bottom, I'm not advertising. So I'm in my lab coat, my Crocs, jeans, um, a scrub top. And yeah, another thing about surgery is that like, you have to have your ID. So, ID. Sorry for the bad lighting. This is, I'm sure you're now used to the core room. The lighting isn't that perfect. But yeah. So now let's go click some patients. Patient. Wanted to be sure. But yeah, it seems like it, uh, it's, it's been like outpatient, like they've just been. They went to the admitted anyone. Okay, so I'm editing this video now and I'm just realizing like the audio is really bad in this clip so I have to record a voice over so what I was basically saying in this audio is that um, the call room that I showed previous clips before I went and found that uh, a male doctor actually sleeping on the bottom bank he like moved my back off the bank and he was sleeping on the bottom bank and I had no problem I would have taken the top bank but then it happens that 
um I needed my phone for post corona my phone was really really low and the socket like my charger could only reach the bottom bank so i had to find a place where i could charge my phone through the night so that in the morning i could use it for post corona because guys whatever you do just don't go with a low phone <laughs> for, for your round because there are just times when you need it just for anything to google something pretty fast or just anything so because of that i was forced to go to one of the wards i had to look for a ward where there was like no patient at all and then i just took the last bed and like yeah drew the curtain so yeah that's how i actually spent that night it wasn't the easiest because yeah it felt so open and all but i survived <laughs> point you must have been tired of hearing the word exhausted but this was exactly what this day was <laughs> So I, after I managed to like finish putting in order the histories and everything, there were still some cases that I wasn't very clear on. And what the do the doctors would do is that they would ask you, like if you present a case, they would ask you questions on it. So after I relaxed a little bit, I had to start studying on hernias and I think skin graft. But yeah, like those are some of I can't remember the other like topics I was doing, but all those are like the two topics that I think I mentioned that I was do. Guys. Um... For that particular morning, it happens that after the, like, in the morning at 6, like, all, the, all of us, the students, we woke up and we went to wait by the wards. And it ended up happening that, like, none of the doctors were available. We waited up to 7. And when we finally called them, they told us that they're actually in, uh, in OT. Like, they were in the, in a, they were in theater. Because we received the emergency. Most of the emergencies in surgery we would be intestine obstruction intestine obstruction or peritonitis so most of those so um they were actually went to theater so we, didn't, we ended up not having a morning round we we're there by six sharp ready like running like and then the thing is that we had studied we were ready to present our cases present and we had left patients but then we didn't get to present anything so yeah so that's how that morning went but i just want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog Please watch my other video where I talk about my actually experience. I talk more about my experience in surgery, talk about my struggles, um, what I actually enjoyed, things that I succeeded in doing, and the books I used, which really helped me in surgery. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to like this video, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you next time.